At the University Medical Center in Las Vegas on September 13, 1996, Tupac Shakur's death was officially recorded as having occurred. On the sixth day after the Mike Tyson fight, which he had watched with his business partner and close friend Suge Knight, he was on his way to an after party when he was ambushed and shot four times. His murderer was never brought to justice. Despite this, a number of people, some of whom had close relationships to Tupac, assert that the iconic rapper is still alive and despite the fact that he was killed 22 years ago. How is it possible that a man with such a high profile could go seemingly unnoticed for almost 20 years? Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today, we'll be trying to figure out, is Tupac really alive? Yeah, you heard it right. Suge Knight Jr. says that Tupac is living in Malaysia. Suge Knight Jr., the son of Suge Knight, has published photographs of a man whom he asserts to be Tupac in the present day. Knight Jr. writes in the caption, They tricked you guys the first time, but y'all, he has been here. The individual in the images has a strong resemblance to the rapper, and Knight Jr. says that the person in the photos is him. In another video, Knight Jr. makes the assertion that Tupac has been living in Malaysia, presumably to avoid the attention of the public and danger posed by his competitors. During the 1990s, Tupac was a participant in the fiercest and most perilous rivalry in the history of hip-hop, which pitted East Coast and West Coast rappers against one another and is believed to have been responsible for the deaths of both Tupac and the notorious B.I.G. Why it's highly unlikely to be true? According to a report in a British tabloid called the Daily Express, the photograph that Knight Jr. uploaded to social media last week was previously used in a video that was uploaded to YouTube in the year 2015. According to the video, Tupac was actually photographed in Cuba and not in Malaysia when the shot was taken. In 2017, Suge Knight appeared on Ice Investigation T's show on Fox, where he speculated that Tupac may still be alive. During one of the episodes, Who Shot Biggie and Tupac, Ice T and journalist Soledad O'Brien call Suge Knight in jail, where he's serving a sentence of 28 years for a fatal altercation. Ice T and Soledad O'Brien's conversation with Suge Knight may be seen here. When O'Brien asked him, so you seriously think that he might still be alive? Knight said, I'm gonna tell you that with Pac, you never know. O'Brien then asked him, so you seriously think that he might still be alive? Snoop Dogg, who was also a close friend to Tupac and went on Steve Harvey's talk show, addressed Knight's charges and said that the claims are excellent TV. This is one of the reasons why it's highly unlikely that the rumor is real. Snoop further commented, saying, My homeboy's resting in peace. I know people still want him to be here, and they love him so much, to the point where his legacy overwhelms everything. But you've got to understand that when God takes you home, he takes you home. He said, It's not like he's going to come back. There's a video that has been circulating online that purportedly shows Tupac in Cuba. At the beginning of the 21st century, a website known as Hollaback Exclusive published a video with the claim that Tupac could be seen loitering openly in a parking lot in Cuba. The man in the video can be heard saying, Tupac is effing living dude. After that, the camera pans to a man who appears to be Tupac speaking with a bunch of other men and at one point, he gives a brief glance in our direction. If Tupac was indeed trying to conceal his identity, why would he care if he was recorded? This is one reason why the rumor is probably not genuine. The dude in the video of poor quality doesn't appear to care what's going on. Also, in 2009, a fan uploaded a video to YouTube that compared the man in the video's facial traits to those of Tupac, demonstrating how Tupac's features were distinct from those of the man in the video. In 2004, a purported second video of Tupac and Suge Knight in Cuba was uploaded to the internet and made public. A video that was uploaded to YouTube and has received more than 3 million views allegedly shows Tupac and Suge Knight laughing in Cuba in 2004. There is no evidence that this film was truly captured in 2004. Therefore, it is highly unlikely that this statement is true. It's possible that this is an old video from the 90s that was just recently made available online because the video just shows the back of Tupac's head and his side profile. It is difficult to determine for certain that it is the late rapper. In 2009, TMZ disseminated photographs that it said showed Tupac in a nightclub in New Orleans. Photos of a man that looked like Tupac were published in a post with the headline, Tupac is Alive. According to the information provided in the story, a man who seemed to be Tupac was seen in a pub on Bourbon Street over the weekend. The website that publishes tabloid news never did confirm for certain that Tupac was in fact the subject of the photographs. Why it's highly unlikely to be true. Even TMZ, which was responsible for releasing the photos, was unable to establish that Tupac is the person pictured in them. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.